Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you best free of course remote desktop software for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS and Chrome OS. So without for more delay, let's begin. So right now I'm using a Windows operating system on my respective computer. So if you're using a Mac, Linux, Android, iOS and Chrome OS on your respective devices, still you can have this software so firstly what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as hop to dex and on the first list it will see its official website just click on it now you can see here download option and below you can see here it's available for almost every kind of operating system like windows mac linux android ios chrome os and also available for raspberry pi so it already detected my operating system so let me click on download wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done so finally the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser so just double left click it to run the software installer so finally the software has been installed successfully and it already launched by itself so you can see it's user interface it's a very straightforward so you can see here the id as well as the password you can customize it by clicking on this pencil icon if you want to change you can change this and here are some instruction written for best performance complete a uh, full installation you can install a full installation still this is already installed but it's not completely installed but still you can use it but if you face any problem then you can click on install to install it completely so now in order to share screen with your different devices you need to download the same applications on your respective devices so right now here I'm gonna use my Android tablet so if you're using uh, any iOS Chrome OS Linux or Mac computers or respective smartphones or tablets still you can do the same tricks so right now you can see on the right side my Android home screen that is my Samsung Android tablet so if you're using an Android then just go to the Play Store and just search for the application name as hop to dex so you can see on the first list as I've already downloaded and installed it so I'm not going to do it again so if you have not downloaded this then firstly you download and install it after that just tap on open now on opening it will show you remote id and below you can see some options like connection chat share screen and the last one is the settings so if you want to share your computer screen with your respective other devices like android ios chrome os or linux or mac os then you can select the first option and if you want to share your respective mobile or tablet devices or your respective devices then you can just tap on the share screen and you can see your start screen share so firstly let us share my computer screen so what I will do is you can see your my desktop ID as well as the password right so in my other devices I'll just put the my computer ID So once you put the ID of your computer on your other devices, now just hit the right arrow, wait for a few seconds. So you might get some errors also when you try it for the first time, but don't worry, just try it back. So now on your computer, you might get some permission, just click on accept and it will automatically detect the respective devices. So now you can see. On the other devices my computer screen as well as I can move the mouse cursor as you can see right now I'm using the other device to move my computer mouse as you can see here and even I can access everything from here so on your other devices there is a blue bar you can see so there are some options like close and just next to it is a 
computer like icon just tap on it so here you will get some options in order to resize your respective screen share so you can just click on string in order to fit your device screen size and below you can see stretch original if you want more good picture quality or the video quality then you can just select the good image quality but I will just keep it as balance so the good image quality might use our better internet connections or the Wi-Fi connections if you want to use the first one and the last one is the optimized reaction time and you can see so remote cursor also you can turn on all these options also so these are the options you will get on site this computer icon and if you want to use a keyboard then you can just tap on the keyboard here if you want to type something on the remote desktop screen and next to it is a mouse so here are some instructions how to use your touch screen or respective other device screens so you can see here some instructions how to enable the left mouse right mouse mouse drag mouse wheel canvas move or the canvas zoom and even the touch option here are some instructions you can check by yourself here and the last one is a chat you can directly chat from here itself so let me show you so let me type from my other devices so I need to type here so I will show you so if you type it you will get a uh, different pop-up message so you can see here and you can just now type from your computer so you can see here even in your other device you are getting a message so you can chat it if you need some help from others or if others needed help from you also it's very useful and if you want to just hide this blue bar then just tap on this down arrow on the right corner if you want to hide it so now we have shared our computer screen with other devices like tablets or other computers or smartphones so now say if you want to right mouse click on the other devices then you can just tap and hold and just slide up and you can see you can use the right mouse click also directly from the other touch screens also so you can check out all the features here right now so now let us try to share my other device screen on my respective windows computer so for this what i will do i'll just close this window now on your other device like if you're using an android or an ios devices then just select the share screen if you want to share the your android smartphones or tablets or like ios smartphones or tablets then you can use this to share your respective mobile or tablet screen to your respective computer so now what I will do is I'll just tap on the start screen share and just click on start now now it automatically creates a ID and a password you can change it depending upon your needs so right now I'll just give it as it is and now on your respective computer just click on this enter remote ID now put this ID which you have created on your respective smartphones or tablets so let me type this one five and once you put this ID on your Raspberry computer just click on connect now click on accept when you get a pop-up notification on the other devices now you can see here your Android or iOS devices screen is being directly shared on your Raspberry computer so you can see here now if you want to allow your computer to control or to use the cursors everything directly from your computer then just go back to the same application and you can see your permissions so right now only the screen capture permission is on if you want to allow your computer to access then you need to enable this input control on your other devices you need to click on open and transfer file you can do to file transfer also by enabling this open as well as the audio capture by open so using this application named as hub to desktop you can easily share your mobile tablet or computer screens with across different operating system devices so in my opinion it's one of the best free of cost remote desktop software for windows mac 
Linux, Android, iOS and Chrome OS that you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.